Hey guys, welcome to Getting Sticky with Ricky. I'm Ricky, welcome back. Uh, thanks for tuning in to my second tip video. Uh, I wanna apologize in advance for, well not advance, I wanna apologize now for last week's uh, cooking video. It was a little bit long, I know, it was about an hour. I apologize, I'm trying to get my feet wet with all this and editing, but I just really wanna get the videos up there. So those of you that watch that whole video, thank you so much. And for those of you who watch that whole video, I am also deeply, deeply sorry. This week, I'm gonna be showing you how to cook pasta. It's not hard, it's easy. Some people get um, all worked up, like, oh, is it al dente, is it al dente? Basically, you just wanna cook the pasta to your own liking. I'm using, I'm not using fresh pasta for this video, uh, for this recipe, because I'm actually, I need to cook this recipe twice. So, just a couple tips, it's not gonna be something super long. Uh, I have box pasta here, it's not fresh, it's name brand, I'm not gonna tell you what name it is. Uh, maybe one video I'll show you how to make some fresh pasta, it could be something we all do together. Um, maybe some stuffed ravioli or something, I don't know, that sounds good. Anyway, I have myself here two cups of dried pasta. What's gonna happen, for every one cup of dried pasta or elbow macaroni is what we're using in this case, macaroni, um, you get about one and three quarter cup of cooked pasta. Um, if you did a, cooked a whole pound of pasta, dry pasta, you're looking at about nine cups of cooked. Uh, secondly, I have three and a half quarts of water in my pot here, getting hot, I have it on high. Once that starts boiling, we're gonna add our pasta, give it a couple quick stirs with the lid back on, uh, because once the water starts boiling again, then we're gonna take the lid off and we won't need to stir it ever again because the boiling will keep the noodles moving. Salt, a lot of people add salt to their water when they're cooking pasta. Um, don't ever add that in the beginning. The reason being is, do you know? I'll give you a second to guess. So, what? Okay, that's your second, you had a chance to guess. Reason why you don't add salt to the water when you first start cooking the pasta, when you're trying to boil the water, is because boiling, the boiling point for salted water takes longer than unsalted water. So we're gonna add our salt to the water once it's boiled. A lot of people, secondly, a lot of people like to use oil uh, in their water with their pasta. I'm gonna be adding my oil to the pasta after it's cooked uh, because we're gonna, there's gonna be some downtime and I really don't want my noodles to stick together. Some people say that when you add oil to your pasta in the water, the sauce slides off a bit. Uh, I've never had that problem, but, um, oh, you can if you wanted to, before you start heating all your water up and everything, if you're afraid of spilling over, boil, you know, your water and pasta spilling over, take a little bit of vegetable oil, or I have olive oil in this case, uh, and just put it around the rim of the top. It'll prevent the water from boiling over. Once that water hits that oil, it'll kind of ma magically stop. They say adding salt to the water also, prevents it, uh, pasta from boiling over. Um, I wouldn't know. So, I mean, I wouldn't know. So water's boiling. We're gonna add our two teaspoons of salt to the water with the pasta. Oh, you know what's a good, you know what we should do now? We're just gonna add the salt right to the pasta now, since it's all going in there together. So, one teaspoon, two teaspoons of salt. Pasta, like I said before, usually takes a little bit less than cooking time that they recommend on the box. For the elbow macaroni, they recommend six minutes. We're gonna cook it at four, just to see what happens and see if it gets that al dente. Um, Cause you can cook pasta in advance for the week, like a meal prep type of thing. That's a good idea, we'll do some meal prepping. Um, so what you would do, you would cook your pasta and then you would rinse it in cold water get all the starch off of it so the noodles don't stick together, then add your vegetable oil or olive oil, I'm using olive oil, uh, use oil, get it all coated and rinse, and then you could separate it, portion it out you want, however you want to do it for your meal prep for the week. Um, what they say about a watch pot never boils, that's an accurate statement, because I feel like we've been waiting a long time and it still hasn't boiled yet. So we're actually getting to that point. I'm getting my phone ready. Uh, because I don't have an Alexa. You notice in my videos last week, I had my cell phone, I was like trying to record like all these extra steps, like, oh, look at the, look at the creme brulee, look at the creme anglaise, look at this, look at that. Guess what? I know, it didn't work. The footage was hard. Like, I had the, angle, the phone turned sideways, so I assumed that when I turned the phone right side back up, the picture would, you know, flip and I'd get a good image. But that wasn't the case. It was very embarrassing. So I was just frustrated and I said, screw it. 
we'll just do one angle for now. And then as I progress through this, I'll, you know, get better with the camera angles. Not that you really need to see in the pot anyway, what, what cooked macaroni looks like. Cause I'm sure that you've cooked macaroni at home before or any type of pasta. Our water's boiling. Fantastic. We're going to take the lid off. We're going to add the pasta and the salt right up into that water. We're going to give it a quick stir. Now, as soon as I added that pasta, you'll notice that the water stopped boiling. Put that lid back on. Oh, look, I got my water on so hot that it just stayed boiling. So I'm just going to take my lid off because I don't need to do that. And I'm just going to stir this occasionally because like I said, I don't want the, um, I don't want the pasta to stick it together. I got my strainer ready. I'm going to put that right in my sink, put it in a clean sink. Um, I spread out my sink. You didn't see that behind the scenes. Oh, timer. Give it one more stir. See what happens. I don't want my pasta sticking to the bottom and I'm not, I actually don't feel any pasta sticking to the bottom because I got that rapid boil going on. So now I don't have to touch it. Just let the pasta do its own thing. Two weeks in a row, you're getting a deep fried recipe. I apologize. Week three is not going to be deep fried. We're going to do a healthy kick, uh, something healthy, uh, because I had a suggestion or a request from a follower, Marianne, love you, baby girl. Uh, so we're going to be doing something healthy next week. Uh, I already have in mind what I'm going to be doing for that. Um, I want to try to make everything a little different, uh, but I figured my first two videos are really drag you in, pull you in. Should be something unique -y and t something that you don't normally see a lot. Um, so this week, like I said, I'm going to be making a deep fried buffalo macaroni and cheese. We're going to be serving that. I'm going to be serving that with a blue cheese whipped cream. I know it's a sweet and it's a savory. It sounds disgusting, but I'm telling you, well, I think it sounds fantastic, but most people are like, Ew. well, first off, they don't like blue cheese or they don't whip, like whipped cream um, or they just want to try something new and exciting. I'm telling you, everybody that tries this blue cheese macaroni or the blue cheese whipped cream with this buffalo macaroni and cheese, they love it. They, they, it's surprisingly good. You got the sweet, you got the savory combining it together. It's like unami in your mouth. Um, it's fantastic. Four, okay, let's stop it. Okay, four minutes. They suggest four minutes for the pasta or six minutes on the box. And pasta is so hard. So we're going two more minutes. Because this recipe is getting double cooked, um, it doesn't really matter how, how done it is. We don't want to overcook it because since I'm cooking it once and then we're going to be deep frying the recipe, I hope you're enjoying my channel. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section down below. It really helps um, promote me. The more comments in my algorithm, in the comment section, the better the algorithm is the more I'll get promoted on YouTube. Uh, and I just want to do this for a living. I just want to talk to my camera with nobody around, but I'm talking to you. Um, you know, that's all that matters. It's about me and you. And what kind of tips, what tips do you need? Oh shoot, there's a one minute timer again, two minute timer. What tips are out there that you need to know in your kitchen? Leave them in the comment section. I'd be glad to help. So that was six minutes. We're gonna give it one quick stir again. And we're gonna try, oh great. This macaroni looks small. It's done. So six minutes. We're going to take it and we're going to try to do something. You all want to see me get third degree burns on YouTube? That'd be fun. I bet you that would get a lot of followers. We're going to just do this a little bit so you guys can see me drain pasta. And guess what? You don't even see it in the camera. So. And look at that. We didn't get any, uh, well, we got four noodles stuck there at the bottom, but they didn't stick to the pot. They were just stuck because of the water suction. Look at that, see? So, oh crud. What did I just do? All right, so see that? Do like that pasta. Get all the water drained out of it. Give it a good shake around. 
we're gonna do olive oil right up in that two tablespoons and give it a nice little stir around so if you need any help in your kitchen leave a comment in the section below uh, i'd love to help you out if you found this video helpful let me know if you didn't find this video helpful let me know um i appreciate all the feedback whether it be positive or negative uh, i know i'm not perfect nobody is uh, unless you're nick jonas then that's perfection right there um but anyway yeah so that's my tip video come back this week on thursday check out my deep fried macaroni deep fried buffalo macaroni and cheese with the blue cheese whipped cream it's absolutely amazing. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Follow me. Spread the word. Um, I appreciate you all.